Welcome to Quick Tips with Wetham Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to create a distribution list with Microsoft Outlook 2007. Distribution lists are great tools to be able to send out emails to a list of people without having to choose the individual recipients each time you send an email. So what we're going to do is first of all show you that we've got our contacts already in here. So we've got our list of contacts uh, already populated and we can add some new contacts as well to our distribution list that might not be in our current contacts. As you can see we've got uh, our four contacts here and two distribution lists as it is. And so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to create a new distribution list by going up to the new and specifically clicking on the arrow next to the new and that's going to give you a drop down list here that's going to give you an option to choose a new distribution list. So we're going to choose distribution list and then a new untitled distribution list comes forth. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to give this distribution list a title. So we're going to call it my distribution list. And then I'm going to click save. Now what we want to do is select the members of the distribution list from our current contacts. So in order to do that what I'm going to do is click select members right here and this brings up the list of our current distribution lists as well as our contacts. Notice how the distribution lists are in bold so you can differentiate your distribution lists from your actual contacts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and choose John Smith by double clicking on him. Karen Smith likewise double clicking on her and you're noticing that what's happening is it's adding the members here in this list. Again Peter Anderson will double click on him and Philip Brown. Now whoops I've made a mistake I didn't want to add Philip Brown to this so what I'm going to do is click on his name and it's going to highlight and I'm just going to push the delete or backspace uh, button on my keyboard and we're back to just the three entries that we want to have as part of the list. You can also search, of course, if you've got a, a very long list of contacts, you can search by their name or you can search by different columns. Uh, and of course, this is going to be in your contacts address book. Uh, if you've got a, the business contact manager with Outlook, uh, you'll also have business contacts in here and you can search by that as well. And uh, that'll be the drop down list. As you can see in this Outlook profile, the business contact manager is not enabled. So we're just going to click OK. And now I've got my three contacts on our new distribution list here. If we want to add a new contact that's not within our contacts in Outlook already, we just have to click Add New, which is the next button here in the Members field on the ribbon. So we click Add New, and we can enter in the display name. So we're going to enter in the display name and then the email address. And then you can actually click Add to Contacts as well, which will automatically add Jerry not only just to the distribution list, but also to your contacts. So I'm going to click OK to that, and it's going to add him as the fourth person here. And if I move this out of the way and go back to my contacts, you can see that uh, Jerry is also here in our contacts as well. Now, if we want to remove somebody, let's say if we want to remove Pete Anderson here, and we just want to get him off the list, but not out of our, our contacts altogether, we just have to select his name and click Remove, and then he's gone. Update now will actually update if you've made any changes within your contacts itself. Uh, it'll update the this instance. So if we've changed Karen's email address and uh, and it's not updated here within the distribution list, you just have to click her name, click update now, and it will refresh and resynchronize with the the actual Outlook contact. So the next thing you can do with your distribution list is you can actually add notes. So if I just click on the notes section here, you'll notice that there's just a regular text field that comes up, and I can enter notes 